Hi, welcome back to 10 Minute Tantalizing Tangents. I'm your host, Lanzix, and today we're going to talk about eggs. Now, in case you didn't know what eggs are, I don't believe you because everyone knows what an egg is. It's delicious. But what I want to know is who decided on the different ways to cook an egg. I don't know who decided to take an egg from a chicken or a bird. Probably some really ancient civilization that no one knows because farming has been done for long before there was written history. So who knows with eggs. But I want to know who decided how many different ways you could cook an egg and why they thought that was a good idea. Because it was a good idea, but like who decided, all right, we can just put it on a skillet and cook it this way and then it's um, a fried egg. And then who decided like, okay, let's make an over easy egg or sunny side up egg or a poached egg or a hard boiled egg or a soft boiled egg or scrambled eggs or an omelet. Like there's so many different ways to cook an egg. I want to know the processes of how those came to be and stuff like that. Now, everyone has their own favorite way to have an egg cooked. And some people have uh, different preferences for different things. Like if you're going to have egg on toast, a lot of people like sunny side up or poached egg. Whereas if you're just going to have an egg by itself, a lot of people like hard boiled eggs or scrambled. And then omelet, it's always scrambled uh, and then you mix it in there. But each person has their own individual taste for an egg. I personally like fried egg. Just pop it on a low heat, put a um, lid over the pan, and then cook it for like five minutes, and boom, you have a cooked egg with crispy sides and still a little bit of runny yolk. So you can put it on toast or skillet or whatever you really want to have it on. If you want to have it plain, it still tastes just as good. Um, but I've been eating uh, eggs more often as of late, mostly because of protein and because they taste good and they're easy to make. Like I said, you just put some oil in the pan, you just crack two eggs or three eggs or however many eggs you want to have into a pan, put a lid over it, cook it for like five minutes and you got a cooked egg. Um, I'm not too much of a cereal eater either because I don't, I just, cereal isn't for me. I, one, I eat cereal dry. Two, um, I don't really like want to sit there with a bowl and just keep crunching on dry grains and milk just makes it soggy which makes it even more unpleasant for me so whatever so I've decided to eat eggs a lot more often and I've been cooking them pretty much every morning and having an egg well I say every morning I've been waking up at like 11 <laughs> um, but yeah l eggs are such a unique food too because they're something that is good standalone but is good with pretty much everything else too. Like you would think, okay, egg doesn't go with sweet, but you put an egg in cake batter, right? And you mix that in and it cooks and makes a delicious cake. So it's not always directly good, but in a roundabout way, you can combine it with pretty much anything and it will taste good. Like if, for example, pizza, it's probably in the dough. There's eggs, egg is dairy. It's also, a lot of people don't realize it's dairy um, because they think, okay, dairy is milk and cheese and like cow products. But if you think about it, all an egg is, if there's no rooster, um, then a hen lays an egg, all it is is just baby food. And that's really all that milk is, right? From cows because uh, calves will drink from the udders and it's just baby food. They don't have it when they're adults. They have it as they eat grass when they're adults. And same for humans, or it used to be for humans, uh, with breastfeeding. It's like, okay, you do it as a kid, but as soon as you hit, like, a certain age, you aren't, you don't need the milk anymore. So all dairy really is, is, like, baby food. So eggs make sense, because the chick, the embryo inside the egg will eat the yolk, and the egg whites are the protective stuff around it. So you're just eating baby food um, as dairy, which is a way to think of it. And dairy is usually because it's baby food has a lot of good nutrients and a lot of stuff that makes things stick together like it helps you build dna and rna so it helps like the cake stay moist and it, it gives proteins and fats in there and calcium that like make it more of a solid mass it's the same thing with eggs so you can put in basically anything like you, you can name any food and i can tell you a dish where it's like okay you can include egg in that 
and it will taste good. Like, eggnog. Eggnog. It, it doesn't have any eggs, actually. Does eggnog, it, does eggnog have eggs? I have no idea. We're going to look that up. Eggnog. No, eggnog does not have eggs in it. Um, so I don't think you should be having egg drinks, but like food-wise, you can pretty, put, pretty much put eggs in it. And it's unique because it's good on its own and it combines things. Not all foods are like that. For example, it's like, okay, apples taste good on their own, but I'm not going to put apple on my pizza. <laughs> it, it's just going to taste weird. Um, well, apple, you can put on a lot of things, but... Apple you don't usually put with, um, like, super savory dish. Like, yeah, I've, there's, like, apple, onion, and beef, so that's a savory dish. But you never put apple in pasta. Like, you put apple in salad, and you put apples in desserts, but you don't put it on, like, pasta or heavy food like that. Where it's eggs, you can make egg noodles, <laughs> so that's pasta. Um, like, you wouldn't put apple in ramen, but lo and behold there's eggs on ramen eggs are just such a universal food and i think maybe it's because they're one of like the first things that people ate similar to milk and wheat like bread we have so many different types of bread who decided to take wheat and grind it down into a fine powder and then combine it with milk and eggs and stuff and then make that into something edible like who decided okay this is too tough this tastes bad so i'm gonna grind it down and they made bread, and now we have so many different types of bread and so many different techniques of making bread and what bread is used in. Like, pretty much bread will go good with anything. And there's, like, dough is bread, like, cookie... Well, cookie is not bread. Cookie is not bread at all, but cookies have eggs in them sometimes. So, you know, eggs... Universal, like I was saying. And then there's, like, deviled eggs, where it's like, okay, you hard-boil, you swirl the yolk, and then you sprinkle some spices on it, and that's it that's all you have to do to have a deviled egg and it, like every society has used eggs in as part of their cuisine like like name name a country and they'll have a dish with egg in it because egg is one of the original foods and i think that's just so cool honestly that that even now it's still like you can still have just a basic egg. You can drink eggs raw. There's a chance of salmonella, but you can, with the pasteurizing and processing now, it's still low. I wouldn't recommend it. That's a health viol safety violation, whatever. You can get sick, so don't don't start drinking raw eggs every morning. Um, but you can eat eggs raw, and it's still, like, some people think that tastes good, like steak tartare. People like raw things. But... Even now, there's still so many different ways to cook an eggs, and you can still just cook it normally, scramble it up, and have a nice egg for breakfast. And it's normal. Like, Egyptians used eggs. Egyptians are really, really, really old. Like, the Romans found the ancient pyramids of Giza, and it was old when they found them, and they were the Romans. So, I think it's really interesting that we still have a lot of the ancient foods, and eggs is one of the remaining ones. There's also different types of eggs. We mainly use chicken eggs, but there's uh, other societies will use duck eggs or goose eggs or ostrich eggs. And like, for example, in New Zealand, uh, there is, a, I forget what the dish is called, but essentially it's just a baby chicken embryo. And that's a, for, <laughs> that's a, a form of egg. It's, it's a cuisine and they changed up the way the egg was made. They just took the unfinished embryo and ate that. And that seems to be all the time I have left for today. Thank you again for joining me. I'm your host, Lansix, and I will see you all later.